strong voice from just listening to loads of big artists like Stevie Wonder, Sam Cooke, you know, listening to them and kind of replicating how they could kind of do all their things. Because I'd listen to it and go, well, I want to be able to do that. And I'd just learn how to do it and, it's, you know, it sticks with me. Yeah, I'm confident on the stage just because I've always wanted to be on stage and perform in front of people. So it's what I want to do, it's what I love. And as soon as I'm on stage, I'm in my own little world and it's really cool and I love getting to do it. Yeah, I write my own songs. Um, I've been working with a guy called Jared Rogers who produced most of the record and he lets me kind of discuss what kind of style of music I want and like, you know, I just basically say I love brass and stick a load of brass on the tracks because I love it. Um, but yeah, I get as involved as I possibly I love James Morrison, I love Amy Winehouse, I think they're awesome singers, like, they're so good. James Morrison is one of the first English artists for a long time that I've, male-wise, that I've really respected as a singer. And he's got the same influences as me, weirdly enough. He loves Otis Redding and Al Green and Sam Cooke. So, I, you know, it's only right that I love his voice and I love his songs as well. Uh, the Quest and Smiling are different. Uh, styles but like, I mean I'm kind of one of them people that loves loads of different styles of music so why not just do loads of different styles of music with my intake on it you know I'm you know my voice is kind of distinctive so just putting my print on everything and um, I like a bit of pop I like a bit of soul I like a bit of rock so why not